Welcome to Path 3 on Finding Volumes of Solids of Revolution. This time we're going to apply the shell method to the same region that we've been talking about, revolved about the x-axis. Here's the region. In order to use the shell method, we'll have to slice it horizontally. How thick is each slice? It's a little piece of y, dy. And that's the clue that we're going to be integrating with respect to y. The next step is to label the endpoints of our slice. Which coordinate do they have in common? The y coordinate. So let's label the two points with the same y coordinate. Then fill in the x coordinates using only y's. Let's do the point on the blue line. The x coordinate there in terms of y is 2 times y. Slide over to the other side on the parabola. What's the x coordinate there? x squared equals to 8 times y. x is the square root of 8y. Now we have all the information necessary to find the volume of this shell. The volume of this shell is 2 pi times the radius times the height times the thickness. The radius is y. What is the height or the length? That's right, it's the big x-coordinate minus the small x-coordinate. We get the square root of 8y minus 2y. Now multiply by the thickness dy, and there's the volume of that cylindrical shell. We're going to add them all up to get the total volume. y goes from 0 to 2. Before we integrate, we'll have to distribute the y into the factor. Square root of 8 times y times the square root of y, that's y to the 1 plus half power, y to the 3 halves, minus 2 times y times y, there's our y squared. Next, we apply the power rule for integration on each term. Integrating y to the 3 halves, we get y to the 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2. Just turn it upside down, we get 2 over 5. Integrate y squared, we get y cubed over 3. Plug in the upper limit of integration, 2. We get, notice how I'm leaving all the 2's alone, because it's going to make it easier to simplify. Look at the first term. We have 2 to the 3 halves times 2 to the 5 halves. That's the same as 2 to the 8 halves, which is 2 to the 4th. That means we have 2 to the 5th power in the numerator in the first term. In the second term, we have 2 to the 4th power in the numerator. 2 to the 4th factors out. We got 2 to the 5th pi outside times 2 over 5 minus 1 over 3. The common denominator of 5 and 3 is 15. We get 6 minus 5 over 15. And there's our answer, 32 pi over 15. Same as the disk method answer. Good thing, right? Okay, next time we're going to take the region and revolve it around the y-axis.
Thank you.